Scientists continue to speak of the end of our civilization, the damage humans have done to our world, and the fact that someday, just like the Big Bang, the world as we know it will cease to exist. Are you afraid? You don't have to worry, top billionaires of the world are committing their endless fortunes to discover planets within outer space where we can survive and keep human civilization alive. Elon Musk has been at the forefront of this struggle for several years, but Jeff Bezos and his company, Blue Origin, are beginning to catch up quickly. They are not just catching up, they're breaking records while they are at it. Bezos believes that the human race can survive if we can find a way to colonize space. Bezos' Blue Origin offers fresh hopes and a different approach to the space conversation that might just offer us a little more hope of life after Earth. New Shepard – The Key to Space Colonization New Shepard is a rocket designed and manufactured by Blue Origins, a company founded by Jeff Bezos in pursuit of his dreams to create colonies in space. The billionaire has a vision, one where humans get to live in space and simply visit the Earth like tourists. The rocket is named after NASA Mercury program astronaut Alan Shepard, the first American to fly in space in 1961. The rocket is designed to take passengers into suborbital space inside of a crew capsule. There are six large observation windows on the reusable rocket. As of June 2021, the rocket has made 15 uncrewed test launches. It has an approximate altitude of 307,000 feet and a spacecraft volume of 530 cubic feet. The spacecraft is designed to carry six people to space in one trip. The first New Shepard made its first test run in April 2015, and while the test flight was a relative success, the rocket lost pressure in the hydraulic system and failed to launch as planned. There have been three more New Shepard rockets made in the six years since the first rocket was made. The current New Shepard 4 rocket, also known as the RSS First Step, made its first test flight on January 14, 2021, and made another trip on April 14, 2021. This is also the first New Shepard manufactured to take the six passengers the rocket was designed for. SpaceX's Starship is the tallest rocket ever made, and stands taller than NASA's Saturn V moon rocket. It is quite taller than New Shepard 4 designed to carry up to 100 people, a lot more than New Shepard 4. It is also completely reusable. SpaceX has been in the business of rocket making much longer than Blue Origins, and it is completely understandable. Blue Origins have been designing and building spacecrafts for close to 20 years. According to Jeff Bezos, the dream to create this beautiful craft is one he has been nursing since he was five and watched the Apollo 11 moon landing in 1969. On July 20, 2021, Jeff Bezos, his brother Mark, the aviator Wally Funk, and Oliver Damon made the first trip to suborbital space successfully. One of the seats on New Shepard was auctioned for $28 million, while the ticket prices were originally set at $200,000 and raised later to $250,000. Space Tourism – A Future Booming Industry Jeff Bezos's idea for space travel is slightly different from what you find with other companies or groups. He proposes a space program that is a blend of tourism and space colonization. His idea was inspired by the works of Gerard O'Neill, a physicist who he had met when he was a student. According to O'Neill, we can colonize space and do so without robbing or harming anyone and without polluting anything. He proposed moving all of the human industrial activity away from Earth's fragile biosphere in the space of one century. Bezos buys fully into the idea of industrializing space and turning Earth into a petting zoo for plants, animals, and humans, and moving industrial endeavors to space where the harmful emissions will have little power to cause more damage. His ideas for space colonization would include floating habitats that will imitate the Earth's weather and gravitational pull. He is confident that many people will be born in space over centuries on the colonies he hopes to set up, and they will visit Earth. He has a plan for how most of all of our industrial activities will be moved away from Earth's weak biosphere in less than 100 years. The colonies Bezos proposes can be 20 miles in one direction and one mile around, and about 500 square miles of territory complete with forests, parks, farms, and puppy dogs. But beyond the idea of making an industrial haven out of space, the end goal for Bezos is a permanent settlement in space. 
With the innovative new Shepard 4, Blue Origins are making more headway and continue to break new ground. While they are miles away from SpaceX in terms of progress and stability, you have to admire how much the gap is thinning. So, how close are we really to living in space? For several years, the journey to space has continued to gather momentum. While SpaceX has been the most visible company working towards putting humans in space, Blue Origins are beginning to gather some momentum. Currently, the Blue Origin Group is working to develop, test, and manufacture the BE-4 engine. According to the company, deep throttling, fine-tuned, and rapid response engines are Faster key to reusability. Well. The BE-4 has been described as the most powerful liquefied natural gas or LNG-fueled rocket engine ever developed. It uses an oxygen-rich combustion cycle and is capable of producing 2400 kilonewtons of thrust with deep throttle capability. Its efficiency, low cost, and availability are the major reasons why it was chosen, and it is about to play a major role in the work of Blue Origin. One cannot accurately predict how long it may take, but you should take note of the timeline set out by Jeff Bezos. It could well be way less than a century before we have colonies in space.